Hello, Dr. Chernik Vladimir is here. And in this video, we are going to talk about the PICO laser. What it is, how does it work, what procedures we can do operating this device. And what are the benefits, of course, and so on and so forth. So, let's start. PICO laser stands for PICO second laser. PICO second laser therapy is a groundbreaking new non-surgical and non-invasive laser skin treatment that can treat a variety of cosmetic concerns and is safe uh, on many different areas of the body. So most lasers used for cosmetic treatments work roughly the same way. The device pushes energy waves deep into the skin to promote healing and boost collagen production. However, Pico second treatment is a little bit different. This laser uses high energy instead of heat to destroy skin coloration while promoting the production of elastin and collagen, the two powerful and so spot important proteins in our skin. So when the body produces a greater quantity of these proteins, it results in firmer skin, improved skin texture and greater smoothness. This laser gets its name from the time metric picosecond which is one trillionth of a second because the laser delivers energy in ultra-short bursts. So, because of the speed of the energy pulses, Pico laser treatment is considered one of the most gentle laser treatments on the market. And we are using it for It reduces effectively melasma and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Then, it can be used for the fast elimination of freckle and solar lentiginous. It also has a function of the gentle skin photo rejuvenation and complexion improvement. Tattoo removal is another wonderful function. Acne scars, widened pores also can be treated. To reach the optimum look goals, most individuals often need from three up to four consecutive sessions. These treatments are spaced apart by at least two to four weeks and if you have a sensitive skin or a darker complexion, sometimes even 8 weeks. Naturally, the number of treatments you require may vary depending on your unique treatment goals, so you might need more or fewer treatments than other individuals. If fine lines and wrinkles are your main concern, you might only need, let's put it this way, 3 or 4 treatments to reduce the appearance. This is especially true if the severity of your fine lines and wrinkles is relatively modest. Additional treatments may be necessary for deeper and more dynamic wrinkles. This estimate for the number of treatments you will need also applies to treating skin laxity. It may take from 2 up to 4 treatments to address pigmentation issues like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation brought on by UV damage, and dark spots, melasma, freckles, and other skin discolorations. You could require more than four treatments if your pigmentation issues are severe or include a larger area of skin. Scarring includes both wound-related and acne-related scars. Um, to decrease the visibility of scars, and to make it not that defined, and to break down scar tissue, this therapy normally needs up to four sessions. It should require between five and seven treatments to completely remove the tattoo, depending on the pigmentation, style, and color of the individual tattoo. When you have your consultation, you can explain your aesthetic goals and cosmetic concerns. Doctor will also, will also ask questions about your medical history, your pain tolerance, and your skincare habits. Then he or she will customize the laser treatment to suit your needs. Preparation for the procedure is very, very minimal. It certainly helps if you stay hydrated and wear sunscreen for at least 2-3 weeks before the procedure, even though you're getting uh, your acne scars, wrinkles, and dark spots removed via laser, that is not an excuse to uh, skimp on your skincare routine. 
all right? And if necessary, a topical numbing agent will be applied. In most cases, it is not required, but it's something to discuss with the doctor ahead of time. You will also be given a pair of goggles to protect your eyes from the laser device. The actual lasering of your skin usually takes from 15, sometimes up to 30 minutes. After the area is treated, a serum of or ointment sometimes may be applied in order to help your skin's healing process. After you leave the office, after you leave the hospital clinic, uh, so you're safe to go about your day while the treatment area heals. Redness and swelling are to be expected, but this normally subsides quite quickly. During this time, you should continue to take good care of your skin by avoiding sudden exposure. Don't forget to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. Avoiding all based foundations and washing your face gently with cold water is also one of the requirements. You will see the results within days, so your skin's inherent regeneration ability will eventually show the effects of the treatment. Most individuals, majority of people will see their results and first findings two, three weeks following uh, the initial session. Up until the time of your last treatment or until the best results have been obtained, your results will keep getting better and better. You might get improvements sooner or later than other patients, though depending on your treatment objectives. It also depends on some factors including age and skin condition, skin cell turnover cycle and level of elastin and collagen in your skin. So now I have a question. Are you ready for flawless skin? Join the thousands of people who are getting a flawless complexion with the Picolaser treatment and schedule a consultation with us. Thank you so much. <music>